ready. You ready, Chef? I'm ready. I'm ready. Chef, ready. Look at that. Red snap. Look at that beautiful red snap. Yes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Happy Sunday. Habari Ghani. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, so welcome to Cooking at Home with Queen and Jay. This week episode this week's episode, excuse me, is jerk red snapper and jollof rice. So this today's principle, today's the second day of Kwanzaa. Today's principle is Kuji Jakalia, which is self-determination. So I felt that it was very fitting. We felt that it was very fitting that today we would really talk about just being very determined because we are very determined chefs. We are very determined entrepreneurs. We are very determined women. And so we really yes. wanted to come out swinging today and really do a dish that is amazing, speaks to roots of Africa. We're going to be doing a Ghanaian version of the jollof rice. Um, and the red snapper is amazing. It's an amazing fish. We got this one from Wegmans. Um, and I just love this fish. I grew up eating this fish. This is my mother's, one of my mother's favorite fish. And so red snapper was a, a everyday, not an everyday thing, but you know, it was a normal thing in my house. So, um, we're going to cook it. And today we're going to do a full meal. So not only will we be having jollof rice, but I will also be doing the red snapper using our, um, jerk seasoning. But we're also going to do a quick collard green because you have to have something green with your meal. So I know some people have sent me DMs, have said that they are going to be cooking with us. I gave some people some recipe information. So please do not hesitate. If you are cooking along, if you get lost in the mix of me going, Chef Jay is behind the camera as always, but she is here to answer your questions. Please ask me questions. Um, I will post up this recipe so you can try to make this at home or you can make this at home. Make sure that you order your spices so that you can make it the same way we're about to make it now with your everything indulgent seasoning and with your jerk seasoning. So let's begin. Let's talk fish. All right. So before I'm going to clear off this cutting board so I can talk to you about this beautiful big old piece of red snap. <laughs> Today we gotta bring out the boxing gloves. Red snapper. The first time I had red snapper actually was when we went to the Bahamas. Yes. I think we were at the Bahamas or St. Martin. Was it St. Martin? No, it was Puerto Rico. It was Puerto Rico, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Pre border <laughs> shut down and we were cruising. Um but yes, Puerto Rico. Yes. Yes, Kyla Carmen. We yes. had um, red snapper by the by the by the sea by, by the, the ocean. Yes. yes, so it was so That's fresh. Amazing. But it was so funny because I was like, "What do you mean you've never had red snapper before?" She was like, "I ain't never had red snapper." I was yes. like, "Oh my god!" Yes, um, and that thing just ooh melted in my mouth. It'll change your life. Yes, like I only wanted red, red snapper, snapper for <laughs> ever <laughs> after that. So the cool <laughs> thing about this also is that this is on our New Year's indulgent menu so mm -hmm. if you haven't already seen our menu check out our website indulge-catering.com and mm -hmm. order your menu order your meal so let's talk red snapper so jay i'm gonna need you to zoom in on a couple of things for me first is the eyes of the fish so when you're buying fish and you're buying a whole fish you want to look for a couple of things you want to look at your eyes of your fish you see how clear this fish eye is that's what you want. If it's cloudy, that's not fresh. So you want a really clear fish eye. If you're not going to get the heads on, um, or you can tell the, um, the, at the fish mark to cut off the head if you're scared of the head. Also, you want to look underneath. There's a spoon underneath there. Sorry, y'all. At the gills. So you want to look underneath here. And you see how nice and pretty and kind of burgundy that is? That's the signs of a fresh fish so that's what you want to look for right so sorry i'm trying to zoom in you got it you want me to pull it hold it up that's good all right I so bright red bright red Very the bright. other thing that you want to make sure you remember is that this fish the scales are very sharp all of your fins your scales i mean the fins are very sharp so you want to have you a clean sink you want to have you a clean area and you want to get you some scissors 
really sharp scissors or a really good paring knife, which is a small knife. All right. So we're going to try and attempt this with the scissor. And if we can't get it with the scissor, I will get my paring knife. Um, but your fish, um, the fish mart should be able to descale this for you. They can fillet it for you. But I'm be honest with you. This is the type of fish you don't want them to fillet. Because this is a three pound fish we have right here. Once you start filleting this, you might get like a pound or a half a pound of fish. Mm -hmm. There's no need in that. So go ahead and bite the bullet. Tell them take off the head if it scares you and go for it. So let's go for it. Let's do it. So I'm going to butcher my fish first and then we'll move on to our rice. So I'm going to take my scissors. I'm cutting off all the stuff that may. Let me cut get you a bowl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chef Jay's like, no, I, I need a bowl for this. What we're not gonna do. What we're not gonna do is that? <laughs> Have fish scales all over the sink? Right. You can put it right. Mm -hmm. I'll be cleaning up all night. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so this one has been cleaned by our butcher. So I'm just taking off the fins, the scales, all this other good stuff. Please feel free to ask any questions you might have. Hey, Monet. Monet Marshall in the Oh, building. wow. Hey, love. She said that fish is really pretty. Thank you. It's, I love this. I made Chef Jay a promise that I would use scissors, right? Because I, growing up, my grandfather, Larry, or Lawrence, taught me how to... Um, scale and fish and all that good stuff. So I love uh, catching fish and scaling fish and all that other good stuff. Jay White was like, uh, yeah, use the scissors because I was going to just use the knife. So I took off the ones that might, you know, stab me. Then you take uh -huh. your scissors and you're going to run it up the back side to take off this long fin. So you're going to run it up the back side. You get just right below it. You'll feel it because it'll be easy to cut. And you're going to run it right up the back side. Some kitchen shears work just fine. And this is all prepped to cook. And what we're going to do today is we're going to cut this into steaks. Boom. All right. So now my fish is taken care of. Now, Ooh, fishy, fishy. let's go ahead. We make sure the inside is clean. So I look on my inside. It has a couple of bits of ugh in it, yeah, which is fine. Down. We don't want to see. I don't want to see. Listen, I got I got to show the people so they don't be all scared. Like when we Listen, did the lobster. When, they, when we did the lobster, they were scared. It's like oh, that's okay. nasty. So <laughs> the same way you clean out a turkey or clean out a chicken, it's it's a fish. It's an animal. Yes. So you want to reach in and clean out. I will spare y'all the visual on that. It doesn't bother me, but I'll sketch, spare y'all the visual. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna rinse my hands. Still got contaminated hands, so I'm good. I Hi, Cousin Donna. So here's the fun part, all right? So we're going to cut it into steaks. What that means is that I'm going to cut pieces about this big so that when you turn it, you're going to see this beautiful presentation. And that's the best part for dinner, all right? So mm -hmm. I'm going to be able to get about two finger widths across, about five in there. Now, if you want, um, there's a Jamaican stew, fish head stew. If you want to keep that head and cut it up, there's some other good eats in here. You don't have to if you don't the want cheeks. to. The cheeks. Oh, yeah, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Yes. <laughs> if you ever had head. fish um, cheeks, yeah. it's absolutely freaking amazing. Yes. So this yes. is why I always do two gloves, y'all, because now I'm going to take off one glove on my right-hand side because I'm going to hold my knife on my right-hand side. Donna, wherever you get your um, your fish from, we got this one from Wegmans. She wanted to know where is a, a butcher in Durham. Um, so we got this one from Wegmans. But any fish mart that you buy fresh fish at, they will butcher for you. Yes. And listen, you're going to do some work. So don't get it twisted that this is going to be the easy part. You're going to do some work. Yeah. So your butcher can take care of this if you don't want to. If you just want to take it home and put them in the pot. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Yeah. That's the sound you're looking for, y'all. All right, heads off. Heads off. So listen, I'm telling y'all you know. right now, this is a real animal, so you're gonna have some, may have some guts or blood or whatever. All right, so that's what this part is. I'm going to do my steaks. So I score my meat. Flip it on the other side. I'm gonna score it. Mm, come, okay. I can't see it, sorry. Oh no, I was Thank trying you. to help you out, shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh All right, yeah. So that's one. See that lovely cut? Fish steak. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna do the rest of them, and then if you pass me another bowl, Jay, right? I'm gonna pass you something. You put your steak sauce. Well, I wanna marinate it, Ooh, and while I'm starting to. Like I said, you can ask the fisherman to do this. I just was like, let me show y'all how this works. So if you want to get you a whole fish and do this yourself, please do this yourself. You can. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at the fishy fish. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> so I'm doing scoring my meat once again. Flip it. Make sure I get it even on the other side. And then tap to get through that spine. That looked really weird. I kind of butchered that, literally butchered that. <laughs> Leave that small piece okay. and we'll uh we'll do something else with that. Yeah. Just whip it away over this way. In the, in the bowl in the refrigerator. <laughs> all right, let me clean this off and show you what I'm going to marinate with. So all I'm doing for my marinade of my fish. Yeah. Let me get you some new. Oh, no, I need this glove right here. So in this bowl, what I'm going to do is I have my little pieces, so I'm going to make sure I pull these off. And that's just cleaning the inside of your fish. You took my little thing off. So I you just take you a knife. Yes. My bad, chef. All right. So all I'm doing inside of my bowl, one is cleaning up my fish a little bit. I like showing y'all the real real because if you're going, to, if you're gonna be, um, if you're gonna get a whole fish, there's different ways we can prepare it. We don't just have to have fillets. You can have these fish steaks. Inside of here, I'm going to put my jerk seasoning, I'm going to put some vinegar, and I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. So let me clean off my gloves. Angela Thomas said, um, hi. Hi, Angela. Hey. And she also said she's going to need somebody else to do that part. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I understand. <laughs> Down over there agreeing with the... I understand. It, listen, this is one of the great parts about doing a personal chef experience, is that I, as your chef... I do this for you. All you got to do is sit back and eat. That's right. <laughs> so I'm just washing my hands because I got fish on my hands. All right, so what I'm going to put in here is some rice wine vinegar. Yes. My favorite vinegar. Yes. And we're just doing a little, just a little marinade on it. I'm going to take my jerk seasoning. Your indulgent essential spices jerk seasoning. Open up my large size. This jerk is amazing, y'all. And this is what's going to give you the kick. It is so good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of oil. Put my glove on so I can massage that a bit. Ooh. Put a... Uh, towel over that and put it to the side while I'm making my rice. See all those herbs that this spice has on it? So I put, um, we have about what, 12 different seasonings in here to make this beautiful blend of jerk. 
It's a complex flavor. They give you that indulgent flavor bomb. So you don't have to do it. I clear it's more than 12. I swear it is. But, that, you know. <laughs> Listen. I don't count. I can't count it right now. I had to count it one day. That would be real funny. Yeah, we'll count it next time we win. All right. Another batch up. So I have that going. Like I said, all I'm doing is I'm going to let this sit while I do my rice. While I make my jollof rice. All right. Thank you for sharing, Angela. We appreciate that. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm so sorry. let's talk Joe Love Right. Bringing out the big boy today, Chef. Big boy. <laughs> so let's talk Joe Love Rice. Mm. So Joe Love Rice is rice that is stewed and cooked in a tomato stew. So what I'm going to do, and it has very complex flavors. So it has onions that you sweat down, your seasonings that you do. So right here, what we have is I have my everything indulgent seasoning blend. I don't know, Jay White. Yes, well. <laughs> I keep trying Which to talk way? to the people, and I don't think I see this. Oh, okay. um, we have our everything indulgent blend. You have garlic, ginger. Italian seasoning, onion powder, you have curry, and you have, why did I just forget what the last thing was? Ginger, garlic, onion, Italian, curry. Curry! Did you okay, say curry? I said curry. Okay, you got it all, shit. All right, good stuff. Unless you done threw a little extra sauce on I, I didn't oh. throw Chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon. <laughs> chicken bouillon. <laughs> chicken bouillon. <laughs> So you don't have to use chicken bouillon if you want to keep it vegetarian. You can use a vegetarian bouillon. You can use uh, veggie stock in replace of the water. But I'm using chicken bouillon. So inside here, what you're going to do, you're going to take half of an onion, a medium onion. You're going to put it into your blender. You're going to take about two tablespoons there you go, of oil. And what you're going to do with this, I put a little bit of vinegar in here. Because she just has to. Because I have to. I don't know why. <laughs> and you're going to blend this up. Because this is going to be your onion puree that's going to go into your pot. And you're going to sweat this down. This is really going to start to build the foundation of your flavor. So, let's do this first. <laughs> it's because we got a little bit. We got a little bit of onion. I'm going to put a little bit of water in here just to get it oh, down. Oh, yeah, help it. Help, help it, it down a little bit. <laughs> the recipe that I'm doing tonight is actually for just about two to three servings of rice. So, yeah, we cut it up in half. <laughs> You want like an onion slurry. Slurry. Angela Thomas wanted to know if <clears throat> is there a curry substitution? Um, yes. So if you have ginger, uh, not ginger, turmeric, cumin. Yep. Um, if you take those two together, that'll be a good um, depth of flavor that you can use. You mm -hmm. can also use maji. Is there something in the curry that you um, don't like? She doesn't like curry. Oh, oh, gotcha. I can tell by her. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me your room. Excuse me, our boss, Pumpernickel, yeah. wants to make an appearance today. <laughs> All right. So, now put the onions aside. Next is your tomatoes. So, next, we're going to rinse this out. And you can use canned tomatoes for this, y'all. So, it's like an onion paste. It's like an onion paste, onion roll. Looks like goodness. It's very good and it's very potent. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is petite dice tomatoes, no mm. salt added because you're gonna add other flavors. You don't need that salt. Let salt be your finisher. All right. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna take a spoonful. Got 
<laughs> we're going to take a spoonful of this and set it aside. And the rest of it, we're going to puree down with some tomato paste. About three ounces of tomato paste. So you're going to take about a half a can. Thank you. Your half a can of your tomatoes. And I like this tomato paste, instead of it being into a can and I might not use it all when I'm doing like a marinara or something of that nature, this tomato paste does works really well. So tomato paste directly in a tube. This way all I got to do is just squirt it right into the tube, into what I'm using. About three ounces. That's about good. Three ounces. Away. All right. So now I'm gonna blend this up as well, creating that slurry, and then we're gonna go over to the stove. We got my fire on. The other cool thing about this recipe is you have to rinse your rice. So, because we're taking some of the starches off the rice, so you're gonna rinse your rice as well. But let me first blend this up. So all of that's done on the recipe you'll see it says about 25 30 minutes of prep and that's because we're doing all of this <laughs> stuff right here all right let's yep. get over to our stove yep angela said she just don't like it oh gotcha. <laughs> she don't know what it is she just don't like it Not <laughs> all right so let's get to cooking y'all hey auntie so you need a heavy bottom pan or a non-stick pan works really well with this. What you're going to do with this is you're going to add about a third a cup of oil. Auntie, okay. where did we get what? She said, where do you get that? <laughs> the tomato paste probably? I don't know. Oh, maybe the tomato paste. Tomato paste I got from Whole Foods. Oh, she said she never seen it in a tube. tube. Ah, mm -hmm. yep. yep. Whole, Whole Foods. Foods. So inside of a third, about a third a cup of oil, what I'm going to do in here, and I'm put my, oh, there it goes. I'm going to let this go, let it get a little hot, and then I'm going to put my onion directly in here. And I'm going to let this go until it begins to brown. And what, it do, what it's doing is it's taking that water out. That's why if, if it doesn't move, like when I put it in a blender, you don't want to put too much in there. All right, so my heat is up high, so medium to high is what we want. Oh, uh, yeah, uh. Did that onion hit you? Ooh, that hit my eye. <laughs> Good gracious. I was wondering. When it was going to hit me? If it would, once, you know, you blend up all the onions Ooh. and then. This is minced garlic. I'm putting some minced garlic in there. Put that heat to the onions. Ooh, wee. <laughs> all right. So inside here, you can add a scotch bonnet pepper, you can add a habanero, you can add some cayenne pepper, but I'm telling you, the jerk seasoning has a little kick of it enough that you don't have to add this if you're going to do the jerk seasoning with this. That's right. So Unless I'm letting like it go. It <laughs> All right. So next in here, this is my riff on this. So as it's going, I'm going to begin to add my seasoning because I want to bloom my seasonings while it's frying in the onions. This is going to give you your next foundation of flavor. So now we have all the seasonings in the pot. <laughs> oh, I saw a little something, something on uh, still on that plate, Chef. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> all right, you're going to let this go. Ooh, yeah. And now you're going to start to really get the smells in your house. Good gracious. That amazing. Make sure you're not going to wear a shirt that you're going to wear the next day because you're going to have onions in your shirt. Facts. Maybe I need to close all the doors. All the doors. <laughs> next, I have some onions left over. That other half of that onion, as you see, is onion heavy. I'm going to take half of this and throw that in there so it can sweat down. So I'm caramelizing my onions now, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is what we want. Smells amazing. Thank you. And you want to see the onions begin to get a little translucent, so a little like see-through, soften up. 
And while that's going, I'm gonna take one and a half cups of rice and I'm gonna rinse this rice, okay? And so what that's doing, once again, is that's taking away some of the starch on my rice. Angela, this is not a ceramic pot. It's very light. Non -stick it's a non-stick aluminum. From home. Hopefully you heard the chef, because she, she told it all. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Smells good in here, chef. Thank you, love. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's going. That looks amazing. All right. Next, what we're going to put in here? I like yellow peppers. Yellow peppers for color. Everything I'm about to make to this is red. So I want my yellow peppers for color. That's going in there. All right. Next goes in the tomatoes that, you kept to that the I side. kept to the side. And that rice that I just washed. Because I like to fry my rice just a bit. So I'm going to put that in there as well while the oil's still going. Cooking, cooking. Cooking, cooking today, sir. All right, so we're gonna let that fry up just a bit. And while that's frying, one of the vegetables that we use in here is frozen peas and carrots, y'all. Yes, frozen peas and carrots. I said it. Has to be frozen. Has to be frozen because as it begins to cook, it'll maintain its texture and it'll release water into it, into your rice. All right, uh, Chef, could you tell Angela about the pot again? Sure. This pot is the Food Network line. I got it at Kohl's. It is an aluminum non-stick uh, non pot set. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. um, what am I looking for? So that while that's frying up, I'm going to get my peas and carrots. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just kept it in the freezer while we're cooking. So, that's funny. Alright, so that's frying up. Everything is looking wonderful. Alright. Joe Loft Rice. Joe Loft Rice. Mm -hmm. Turn your grill pan on. Alright. I'm going to cook the um, red snapper steaks. All right, grill so, pan. Get a little close for a minute. You see how the rice has a little bit. It's starting to cook it just a cook it just a bit. That's how I say that. <laughs> cook it just a cook just a bit. This is what I want. So it's still having a little bit of fry, but I don't want a fried rice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in my tomatoes if I can open it. You might not have tomatoes today. <laughs> okay. There you go, there we go. <laughs> So your tomatoes go in there. Yes. I'm gonna put. Yes, the rice was uncooked. Yes, rice is it was uncooked. Raw I mean, raw rice. <laughs> raw rice. Because jollof rice is rice cooked in a tomato stew. So the liquid to hydrate your rice is coming from those tomatoes. It's gonna come from a little bit more water. It's comedy. I'm adding in my frozen peas and carrots. Chef, and you turn your heat turn down, down now <laughs> to medium because now we want it to get to the point where everything is gonna cook and stew up. I'm gonna add carrots. a cup. So this is two cups I have in there. I'm going to add a cup of water and set the other cup aside just to make sure that as it's cooking, when I check it, if I need to add more water, I can. Mm -hmm. So yes, raw rice and chef always fries some rice before 
She adds water. I just like the texture. It. That's right, because you, you, you yeah. are a rice professional. I speak to the rice. <laughs> now I'm going to taste this just to make sure that my flavor's on point, my salt's on point, and then I'm going to let this go. I can go throw somebody something that's Let me taste it. Let me taste it. You better stop on, playing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Put the rest of my onions in because it's going to cook. You want to stir. And now I'm going to add a little bit of Himalayan pink salt to this for my salt factor. Remember, my tomatoes has no salt added. So that's a good hearty pinch. Oh, now the onions messing with my eyes. Now you got the <laughs> onions. If you want to add cayenne pepper, you can right now. If you want to add some red pepper flakes, you can right now. I don't want this to be um, spicy. So that's why I haven't added that to it. And what else am I looking for? Jay, are you ready to taste this? Yes. Tell me if you want a little bit more salt in this. Okay. I'm ready. Ready, chef. Thank you. <laughs> smells amazing. Thank you. Mm. Tastes real good, right? That's so good. Yes. So yeah. now we let this cook. We set this aside. Hold on. What? You got to put your foil on it. I am. I'm going to put my foil. Mm -hmm. So we set this aside and we're going to let this cook on a medium heat. Now, what I'm going to do, so one of the really cool tricks is to take foil, put it directly over top, and that's when you put your lid on that, it's going to create a good seat. Yes. So push this down. Turn this down to low. Because we're not burning rice, we're cooking rice. Nice. Put this down to low. And in about 10 minutes, I'm going to check it. But listen, if you hear your rice sound like it's frying, if you smell burnt, you want to check it. You can always add water to it. You can't take away a burnt flavor, okay? So just remember that when you cook it. Let's talk fish. All right, so I got my cast iron pan right here. Some of y'all have asked. I got this cast iron right here from Walmart. Simple as that, Walmart. Angela has a question. She wants to know, could you use chicken or vegetable broth or stock instead of water to add another flavor? Yes, you can. So I use chicken bouillon in my seasoning and the chicken bouillon plus the water is gonna add, make a chicken stock. But if you wanna omit the bouillon, you can just use um, um, chicken stock to it. Just make sure it's a low sodium chicken stock. So I have my cast iron. It is hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to this and I'm gonna sear my fish. Know something. Whew, the onions <laughs> is in the, the building. The onions is in the building. So. You gotta hear me. Lord, have mercy. My eyes just pouring it. And all that goodness. All of the jerk on there. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more jerk on top. And this is your indulgent essential spices jerk seasoning. Correct. Make sure you go ahead and place your order at indulge-catering.com. Uh oh, Chef, you lost your tone. Oh, All right. That. So you're gonna put this, put your jerk sauce mm -hmm. right directly on top of the fish. Try not to get it on your pan so you don't sear your seasoning. And you're gonna sear it on each side for about. Just check it. About a minute, two minutes. Minutes. Yep. About two minutes. Minute or two. <laughs> two minutes. Where's my phone? Check the, uh, the dishwasher. Oh no, you're not about to step. Come on. <laughs> Lord, I'm mercy, girl. Put it on. 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 Put
doing and took out every tool. Every tool. <laughs> All right, except I, I forgot the fish spatula for you even. I know. <laughs> Shake it. I want to get that nice pretty grill mark right there. Yes. And don't that worry, so we're going to finish this in the oven. So don't think that we're going to finish it right here. We're going to finish this in the oven. Beautiful flaky fish. Yes. I'm going to tell you I know you are. This going to be so nice. We just put this one down. I'm not going to turn that one yet. You better not fall this time. <laughs> you don't have to put any more jerk on mine. Because um, I don't want it too to spicy. Out, <laughs> out. Yes. All right. So now let's make some collars, y'all. Y'all still Ooh. with me? We're going to make some collars. Make some collars. With my eyes. So quick collars. <laughs> so said her favorite collets. Collets. Mecca <laughs> said that looks amazing. Thank Thanks, you. Sis. All right, we're gonna check it. We're gonna check the rice. We're gonna check the rice. Be careful, there's steam, and you don't want to burn yourself. So we're gonna check the rice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven. The oven is set at 350 degrees, and we're gonna let this go. Let me temp it at quick temp it. So your fish internal temp should be 135. So I like to temp certain things before they go in the oven so I can see how long it's gonna take. All right, so we're at 62. So we'll do 10 minutes. Awesome. And another reason why I like cooking the fish or meat inside of a cast iron is because I can take it and put it directly into the oven to finish it. Uh-huh. That's right. Alright. So that's in. Let's look at this rice, right, y'all. I'm going to turn this off because I can use this. Mm -hmm. Alright. So that's in. Let's see what so we're looking at the rice. Get, what we got? Alright. She's cooking. And she's cooking, y'all. But let me show you. You want to stir it because you're going to distribute the liquid that was on top to the bottom now. Now she's really going to cook. So this really makes it so. You see how beautiful and colorful and flavorful this is? Don't it look flavorful? I, I, you know. Right. <laughs> I'm going to taste this real fast. Looks delicious. The rice is not done. Just letting y'all know. I'm just tasting flavor. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Well, smack yourself. Mmm. Smack myself. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Alright. Put my foil back on. Create my seal. And we're going to let this go. Um, can you stop uh, moving it so I scratch my top? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriend. That's about to be big man. Big man. <laughs> All right, so collards. We're going to take our collards. I have slithers of onions like this. I'm going to put it in my pan. So as my pan is heating up, once again, we have onions. Listen, y'all, you're going to be onioned out at the end of this meal. <laughs> I love onions, y'all. So I'm happy. But that onion um, in the house, I mean, it's That like, smell in the house is like it's an onion. It's very nice. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Everybody that said it looks yummy. Thank you. Pumpernickel. He on the patio, girl. Oh. I, had, I had to open the door. <laughs> Our child pumpernickel. Our child, y'all. Our child pumpernickel. I opened the patio because ah. of the onions. And that he on the patio. Alright, so we have... Oh, there goes my oil. Can you pass me the oil? Sure. Just have onions in there. We're going to do a quick collard. And what I'm saying by this is that I'm going to sear the collard first and then add my fluid to it so that I can begin to cook it really fast because I want it to be done. Instead of having a long stewed 
collard green, I'm going to cook it faster. So it's going to still have a little bit of crunch to it. Mm -hmm. And another way you do that is by beginning to break down the actual fibers of your collard greens, y'all. You could do this with kale. I do Actually, I do this with kale. My sister Abner taught me this right here. Listen, if you've never had red snapper, please make it your business this to get week you some red snapper. To get red snapper, we also have it on our uh, New Year's menu. Yep. So you make can sure let you us order. They have until the 29th. 29th to order, and this is for local. But you have until the 29th to order, and it's only for pickup. So what I'm doing now is I'm breaking down the fibers of my collards so that they will cook faster. Fast, fast. What's that? That? Yes. All right, I'm going to put this directly in. And I'm like frying it just a bit. Hey, Amy. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I love that sizzle. Yes. Sizzle makes me happy. Can you pass me um, the other mixture? Yeah. Thank you. Alright. So I'm frying this in my pan. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to let this fry up. This is how you, I'm going to cook this faster than if I was to just, you know, let it steam down because I want to eat this at the same time as the rest of my meal. <laughs> We wish you lived closer to Amy. <laughs> Add some vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar to this. You can take this aluminum foil off now. And you're going to let this, so show them the rice real fast. At this point of my rice cooking, I'm going to take the aluminum foil off and take my lid off because I want the water to evaporate. You see that rice, y'all? Beautiful red color of your rice. It's only a little bit of water left. That's right. The rest of that is the oil. And so that frying that you hear is that oil. So you want to go ahead and pat it back flat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to taste it to see my doneness. Collard's cooking, cooking. My fish is in my oven. The rice is maybe two minutes from being done. It still has a little bit of bite back to it, but it's two minutes from being done. So what you're going to do now is take it off of your eye, put your lid back on it, and let it steam yes. the rest of the way. This is how you're going to get that fluffy rice texture. So I'm taking it, putting it in the back, letting it steam. My collard. Do you see how my collard is melted down already? Do you see that, y'all? Collards wilted down already. So now I add in here my everything indulgent seasoning. Yes. Which you can also get online. Make sure y'all are liking, following, and sharing these videos. Tell people to make sure they uh, follow Indulge Catering. Also follow us on YouTube, y'all, Indulge Catering LLC. And you see how it wilted down similar to a spinach? Yep. Because I broke down some of that fiber by massaging my greens. So you could do this with a mustard green, a collard green, a kale. Um, if you break down some of that fiber, it cooks faster. I'm giving y'all my trick. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm able to make them southern greens so fast for y'all. Oh man, stop playing. Next, add a little bit of sugar. The balance of a little bit of sugar and the vinegar in your collards will create a beautiful taste, y'all. Oh wow, Amy, we didn't notice that. What's that? Amy said that we noticed that we have 4,444 
followers right now. Four point four have been following me everywhere. Oh wow! Oh wow! Tell Thank you. Today, you see it? Four four four. <laughs> y'all see that? Your collars are pretty much done, y'all. Let me see. Jay White is the tester of my collar. Yeah. If she says it's almost done, then I know I got about at least a minute left. <laughs> Let me see if they tend the out. Oh, hot. How'd that taste? A little more sugar. A little more sugar. Mm -hmm. yeah. More vinegar. So amp it up. This is why we taste, y'all, because you can always add, but that takeaway you can't do. Mm -hmm. A little bit more apple cider vinegar. And a little bit more everything indulgent. Yeah. And a little pink salt. A little salt. We forgot pepper. The everything indulgent is um, very low in sodium. So it is. Have, it has trace amounts of sodium to it. Yeah, so you have to add your sodium factor. But it has all the flavors. Yes, it has cumin, turmeric, meat. some basil, some parsley. Look at that, y'all. Also add in here some paprika. Turn your flame down, too. <laughs> you couldn't. <laughs> paprika always goes last because it'll burn in a hot pan. So when you put your paprika on, you put it on the actual thing you're going to do. So whether it be the vegetable, the fish, or whatever the case may be. And I don't know if y'all remember a few weeks ago, I taught y'all another one of my little trips as far as adding water. So look at those collard greens, y'all. They are cooked. They have a great still color in it. You didn't kill your collards. They're not soaking with liquid and fluid where the fluid and the um, nutrients of your collards are inside of the pan. No, they're still in your green. All right, so I'm gonna turn off my flame and I'm gonna add one to two ice cubes to this pot and that's gonna create steam and also a controlled amount of fluid. Ooh, look at that rice. Mommy says, stop playing with her, and um, in the words of Muhammad, go ahead and teleport that plate over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Remember, y'all, ice cubes, simple way to add some moisture to your pot. Yeah, and not too much. And not too much. So I'm going to borrow the lid from my rice. Ooh, that rice is beautiful, y'all. And I'm going to let this just steam down and be finished with that. Let's see what this fish is. Mm. It's and been 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Clean up a bit so Jay White not fussing. Oh, exactly. I'm not washing dishes tonight. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> see, you all in my pots. I am. I have to taste test. Uh, her taste test everything. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That uh -huh. rice is perfect. Woo! Hot! <laughs> Mmm, good. Ooh, that fish is good. I burnt my tongue, y'all. You burnt your tongue on that rice. <laughs> I had to say it like that. All right, let's tap this fish. Look at that red snapper, y'all. Show the party, people. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So, what did you say it needs to be, Jay? 135. 135. If you want to tempt the small ones, because we can always put the big one back in if need be. Yep, tempt your small ones. All right. I mean, uh, wait, wait, wait. Rinse. Since it's not done yet, you want to rinse off your thermometer so that you're not cross-contaminating. And we're going to go ahead and temp our smaller ones. There you go. She ready. I think she ready. Let it cool. Down. Let it cool down a little bit, y'all. And you can get this thermometer once again from Walmart. Simple find. Digital. Digital thermometer. The best. Oh, she really. ready too. This one also has a tapered edge. Can y'all see that tapered edge on the bottom? That's for a better temp. That tapered edge is more closer Some to your this. core. This part right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So. These two pieces are ready. I'm going to take these out so we can plate them. This one's going to go back in the oven to finish off, but that'll be dinner another night. Doo -doo -doo. It's 
So tell me, did y'all learn something so far from this right here? Oh, I bet they got okay. Here's a place. How do you want to do the laundry to go again? Okay. You want to bring the people over so we can show them plating? Because it's plating time! <laughs> Come on with me, party people. Chef was in here cooking, cooking. I was cooking, cooking tonight. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this back in. Also, what y'all can do, oh my gosh, on this right here, since it's going back in the oven, if you take raw onions and peppers and put it on this grill pan and then put it back in the oven so that they cook together. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, let's put this back in the oven. You got your plates? Got the plates, Chef. Yeah, got the plates. Bring over my collards. Mm -hmm. We got our fish. <laughs> we have our rice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that rice, y'all. That looks so delish. So delish. My God. Look at that, y'all. We have our fish. Fish was on the grill. Mm -mm. All right, let's plate this up, y'all. Y'all hungry? I'm hungry. Shoot, yes. ready? Ready. So, fun with plating today. We have a small bowl. This bowl is going to allow us to form the rice into a dome. All right, so get this beautiful rice. I'm going to put this in here, smash it down just a bit. And you're going to bring the plate to the dome, flip it, and lift it. Boom. Okay. 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 <laughs> Next. We're going to take our tongs and we're going to put a bed of collards down right beside it, y'all. All right, so we got two questions. No, girl. Two oh. requests for a digital recipe so they can go back and um, try it. I surely will. I will Listen, upload that digital 2021. Recipe. We got all kind of cool, beautiful things plans for y'all. Yes. And you can always watch this again. Watch this episode. Go over the episode and um, check it out. And cook along with Chef on the replay. What I also have here, y'all, is some scallions. So I'm going to take my scallions and put scallions directly on top of my rice. Oh, you playing with your scallion and throw them up. That's yeah, so chef just salt bay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I use the greens. You can use the whites of it as well. The whites just know you got enough onion in here. If you do whites on this, you're going to have more onion. Okay? That looks beautiful. Thank you. So, there you have it. There it goes. Look at that right there, y'all. Jollof rice. Jollof rice. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and do your thing, chef. Okay, we have jollof rice with quick collard greens and a jerk red snapper steak. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful meal to help celebrate the second day of Kwanzaa, which is Kujijakalia, which is self determination. Y'all, we chose today, we chose this dish. This was a choice. So we chose, sorry, we chose this day, we chose this dip dish because we are determined. We are very self-determined people here at Indulge Catering to be successful, to grow our success, and to grow our empire. That is